Hey everybody, this is Way to Fail back with more Kerbal Space Program career mode where today we're going to be following up on some missions that have been in flight including bringing Jebediah home from Ike. He's been in orbit for quite some time. But first we're going to be looking at our probes and how they're doing here. I had to send a second one to Drez. The first one got rerouted to Jewel because I just could not get bothered to actually send it to the right place. It had the wrong encounter window. So I'm not going to go too much into the launch here, but I do want to talk a little bit about what's going on in the videos today. There are currently probes, including this one in flight to Drez, Jewel, and you can see me setting up my Drez encounter here. It does have a little bit of a challenge because it is on a very inclined orbit. Technically, Drez is a planetoid or a dwarf planet instead of a full planet, but it depends on your definition. But I have flights to Elo, I have flights to Jewel, I have flights home from Duna, and I have uh, Flight to Drez, which is obviously here. The video is put not in exact order of how it happened in the game. I'm not using alarm clock, but it is a lot to keep track of here. But pretty much I'm just going to try and present to you the different things that happened, the successes and not successes. So I don't know what that was in the background, but we are flying around here and we are going to be getting around Drez. And I don't, there's like some screeching in the background that I'm going to have to fix in the video apparently. And I don't know why I'm still talking about it. But there we go, apparently that's just a thing right now. We're going to be sounding like window washers. But here's Drez. I'm orbiting around it because that is cool. And these are just unmanned probes. Like I said before, kind of the house rule for me here as I'm circularizing my orbit is to try and keep myself pretty simply, um, well, how do I put it? In order to explore a planet, I want to have a probe around it first. Now, I don't have mods or anything that give like special stuff like cathane or communication, but... Still, I do think it is worthwhile to at least say that we've been to a planet with something that is automated before necessarily sending manned flights to try and do something. So here is my close, close encounter with Jewel, which you can see all of the moons flying around it. And this is just going to be going around the Jewel system itself, and you can see the time acceleration, how it works. As I am having this video going kind of quickly. I do go for an aero capture, and I do try and hit the sweet spot kind of if you go too deep it's really easy to get sunk in here if you go too aggressively like below 100,000 kilometers and you can saw, see actually the maneuver line went into the atmosphere now you can bug out and actually land on the ground and spoiler alert there are actually different science messages for if you're on the surface of Jewel maybe there's something floating around that's secret that you can actually land on in Jewel like a tiny platform at zero uh, zero altitude but technically your ship's supposed to blow up at about 400 altitude from the Kraken that still exists but for now I do circularize my orbit outside of this video but I did an air capture maneuver for Joel to try and conserve my fuel and you see I do actually have some fuel there in the background so next up is going to be ELO and ELO is by far the biggest challenge that I've had to get to as I'm doing some minor course corrections here but I already had to if you remember from a few, a few videos ago blow a ton of fuel just to try and get to ELO so today is going to be more about seeing what I can do here I'm not confident in my ability to get into an ELO orbit and maybe the best way for me to do that would be to try and fly around or get a very very wide orbit for ELO just something that gets me barely within range that could be enough because I don't have to slow down as much but with my probe I'd rather do a close close flyby or maybe even an impact study potentially instead of uh, just doing a wide wide far away observation because ELO is one of those planets that I've never been to do hope to go to someday but today we're probing so this is the uh, furthest away this mission takes a very very long time to go but you can see I'm doing my final maneuver node corrections here as I actually have an encounter with ELO so let's go ahead and see the white dot here closer so I do have a tiny tiny amount of fuel you can see the ridiculous amount of delta V it's going to take for me to slow down here because ELO has very very low uh, gravity or very low density so it doesn't have a lot of gravity for me to capture so a lot of what I have to do involves me doing it myself so I try and finagle with the maneuver nodes a bit here but ELO was added it's the most recent planet added by squad the developers themselves I've you I've seen some other planets from mods and I've got a video on those other planets that are added if you want to see that but you can see I'm trying to my best to get my maneuver going and it's not gonna be good so at least I'm trying to get in to closer range 
of the planet. So here is the look at ELO, which I believe was called a uh, Christmas present from squad to fans and players of the game back in 2012, because that's so long ago now. But ELO, the icy chunk that uh, once again has uh, a lot of interesting history behind it, and I hope to learn more by landing on it and actually researching. But for now, I'm opted to go for the close flyby instead of the impact study, just to try and get as much science as I can in solar panels. Not nearly as effective here, but I have to get really, really close. I'm not even sure if I get a uh, close encounter with ELO. I don't think I get low enough, but there's my futile attempt of a burn. You can see how much delta V I need to get this going. Maybe I should have burned down closer to the uh, surface. But yeah, that burn, the LV-909 does not actually charge your engine, but you can see here there's absolutely no way I'm out of fuel. So unfortunately, no ELO landing. So of all the probes I sent out, this is the only one that I failed, which is not a terrible track record, but now it is in a perpetual orbit around the sun, or around a Kerbal with an OL. So try and get what remaining science I can salvage out of this mission, which there is plenty to be had. You do get a pretty substantial science bonus just for the flybys. And as you're going to see at the end of this mission, I have not actually done any science, like collecting and actually pumping into the research tree, and I intentionally waited to do that until I after I had all of my orbital missions going, but I'm officially on an escape trajectory back to orbiting Kerbal, and then here we go. Like I said, I did have a return mission with uh, Jebediah, and for some odd reason I did lose the video of me uh, leaving Ike's orbit, but I promise you it wasn't terribly controversial. It's just like leaving from a high uh, Duna orbit. But the more important thing is that I'm going for a very aggressive air capture into Kerbin atmosphere, and I want to land on a place where I actually don't have to worry about my ship breaking apart, where I can land on the surface, and so far things are looking pretty good. Actually, unfortunately, I'm on a currently an impact trajectory, so one thing you got to watch out for when you are playing this is that the maneuver nodes are not perfect. When you jump into spheres of influence, they tend to move around. Sometimes you can get, and I had a, a nice close encounter before, and now it's really 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 gonna be tough but this is supposed to break in there very hard I'm not using any of the mods that are like dangerous reentry although that's something I w would like to do in the future because I do have a better understanding of this game right now but there we go there's home planet Jebediah has been off-world for a very long time around Ike conducting studies making crazy faces back at Kerbal in this distance but it's got to be good to be home Hopefully this is not something that can explode because there is a lot of precious, precious data. So here we go towards the uh, plant surface. And you'll have to apologize for the breaks in video. There's times where I've had to say, pause, take care of my family, or pause and eat. I don't always play, I don't always get to play my Kerbal Space Program or anything really straight through. So I do try my best to uh, have these videos as just kind of one take. If I screw up, I screw up. If I don't, I don't. But for now, I do. I am going to be going into the atmosphere. There is a massive fireball. If this were real life, uh, Jebediah would be turned into putty. But then again, if this were real life, maybe the physiologies of the Kerbals would be different, and they enjoy high Gs, and maybe that's how they reproduce. I don't know. But here we go into the nice sunrise landing. So that's a nice, beautiful picture that I'm not sure if my rendering does very well with it. But unfortunately, parachutes flying very, very early. Because remember from the video before, my staging screwed up a little bit and my parachutes actually sent out early. Fortunately none of them were incinerated in this landing so you can see I'm trying to additionally slow down with the extra fuel I have. I figure why not? I do not want to have what I've had recently of the ship tearing itself apart uh, just based on that. So that's why I'm burning fuel here because I don't want to be going too fast when my parachutes deploy but I feel like I'm in kind of a safe range here and I'm going through fuel pretty fast. There's the ground scatter and there's Jebediah coming on down Price is Right style into the sunrise, back into the warm confines of Kerbin, which actually has an atmosphere, which is very nice. Do a safety burn just to make sure that the ship doesn't crash, and there we go. Good stuff. Jebediah is back home, and I get a bevy of signs for that mission. I don't land in a biome that I haven't already explored, but still do take a report here just because I can solar panels get to go back out and this ship is going to be recovered and the probing missions are done the probing missions are a success 
Jebediah has officially touched down, sent a Kerbal onto another, well, not a planet as the original mission objective was, but onto the surface of a foreign world that is not in the Kerbin sphere of influence. So that is fantastic. And now the next mission, there's a few places that I can go. We can go for further, deeper exploration. I can make a space station that's probably going to be the next video. Is the, uh, my first attempt actually in Kerbal Space Program ever of building a space station. But for now, here is all of the missions that we have just listed on the right of everything that has been done. And we're going to go to R&D and pop in some research. And I am prioritizing getting things like the Gravitron so I can do more experiments. And the other thing I really want is to get nuclear engines. I feel like I've gone far enough, done far enough with ballistic engines to the point where I can justify getting a nuclear engine as well. And you can see all the science that I have. I have a ton. And that's just from probes. That's without landing on a bunch of different planets. So there's your main sail and your giant fuel tank. So you can guess what's coming here as I just go through, try and pick and choose, pick and choose. And this is nice when you save up all your science and then get to spend it all at one place. Now I'm using a stock tech tree and there are other tech trees that you can download that are mods of this and they include mod parts, they include different price ranges, different orders of where things go on and I do suggest you check those out if you're dissatisfied with this because the community has a good idea of that. But you know what, that's it for now. I mean, pretty much we've done our probing, we've done a planetary exploration mission. So I'm going to call that a video at this point. This is Way to Fail with Carbal Space Program. I hope you enjoyed it. We're going to be doing much more of this in the future, exploring the cosmos. This is kind of the opening salvo, where now it goes kind of from career mode to there's still science to be done and science to be had, but with an unlimited budget, which is something they will be updating in the next update when it comes out. Uh, it's now time to explore the system that we have so readily explored. So, hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to comment, plus one, whatever you want to. If you haven't subscribed and you just stumbled across this, across this video, welcome. Feel free to subscribe. But that's it for now. See you all next time where we will be flying high into the atmosphere for science. Take care.